we've been working with Dr. Pohl since he came here in, I'm gonna say 1982. We were in the dairy back then, and he was the vet of choice. He had the voice that you'd turn and listen to, and he'd be working with the dairy cows, and you would learn from whatever he had to tell you. I can always remember back when Dr. Pohl would come, and we would be inside the pen, and we'd have the gate unlocked and ready to open up when Dr. Pohl got there and he wouldn't even need you to open the gate. He'd jump right over it and hop in there and help you out with that animal. He always said he was, he can still jump over the gate yet. <laughs> still today, he would probably still do that. We noticed an outbreak of pink eye and you know, a few animals. So we treated them with over-the-counter drugs and the pink eye sometimes would go away, sometimes it wouldn't go away. And we started noticing it was passing from one pen to the next. And that's when we realized we had a problem on our hands, so we got a hold of Dr. Paul. Why in the heck is this so bad? I was more or less dependent on Dr. Paul to find me an answer for this and get this under control. Come on. Hey. We had to I know it hurts. have Dr. Paul come out and do the culture. We just go like this. And get ahead of this thing. Can we get this type of pink yes. guy? Yes. Uh, yes. Here. No. <laughs> that's why I asked. We've gotten past that pink eye point. It's looking good now, thanks to Dr. Paul. It's just like anything, you work your way through it. The pink eye's gone, we got happy cattle and happy farmer. Can't ask for any more. This isn't the first time that Dr. Paul's helped us out on the farm. He's helped us out in the past and done a wonderful job. I know Dr. Paul will always be there. You know, he's, he's only a phone call away, so the next time we have something in the future, we'll surely be calling him. <laughs>